building a portfolio for sustainability. So you've heard lots about uh, a digitalization or sustainability at this at this session. We're going to focus in on a, on a couple of key industries that we believe are important for the transition, and, and that is the energy and the chemicals uh, uh, companies. So first of all, if we could just ask, please just silence your devices. Feel free to take any photographs or anything that you, you might need. Uh, be sure to give feedback on the session at the end of it. That's really important. And most importantly, uh, we want to engage with you during this session. So we are going to have a few presentations and we'll have questions uh, at the end. Um, so a little bit of so context for this uh, session. So ultimately, we see the energy transition and a move towards uh, circular economy is causing investors, energy and chemical companies to realign priorities and projects to meet new sustainability perspectives. So we see project teams embracing digital transformation as part of that sustainability journey, and it's usually underpinned by a, some type of a rigorous sustainability framework other than just cost metrics, right? So this criteria is guiding innovation, design, and sustainability investment and new operational philosophies. So uh, what we see is, is there's a couple of different themes here. The energy or the oil and gas companies are becoming energy companies. Uh, focusing on energy and transition and decarbonization, and the chemical industries are focusing on creating more sustainable products. Uh, each of these companies have got some somewhat unique themes where it's providing, uh, if you're a, an energy and oil and gas company, your focus is on providing affordable, clean energy for the world. Uh, and now, as part of your sustainability initiative, you'll focus on improving land and water management and creating uh, a lower carbon business uh, or reducing uh, energy emissions in facilities. If you're a, a chemical company, you're, you're going to focus more on those products that are more tangible to the customer and Im imp impacting the plastics industry and producing less plastic waste in, in the environment or reducing freshwater intake or recycling materials in the, in the process. So it's, it's a combination of factors that's driving this industry. One, it's consumer pressure. Or consumers are asking for products that are more sustainable in nature, either, either last long, more recycled content, and consumers are looking for products that have got a lower carbon in intensity and in footprint associated with it. We're, we're seeing uh, government regulation is impacting this change, uh, everything from mandating uh, no more single-use plastics or implementing new fuel standards or introducing carbon taxes in many uh, states or in, in countries. And, and even more, more importantly, what we're seeing from the investor community, companies like Vanguard and BlackRock, who have got major stakes in a lot of energy companies today, are starting to demand that, uh, that uh, energy companies have got proven sustainability investments and strategies at the center of their, their portfolio. Uh, I just want to, before we get going into the, the presentations, I, I'm just going to share a, a little bit about some of the research that we're doing. ARC does have a, a sustainability program. Uh, this particular uh, 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 part of uh, our research, this was uh, conducted back in 2020, where we uh, benchmarked uh, uh, about 349 industrial companies on understanding programs uh, and drivers for sustainability. And there's a couple of things we found is 77% of manufacturers believe that digitalization is very high or extreme of extreme importance in obtaining uh, or achieving sustainability goals. So that's, that's really important. So this con conference is certainly focused on digital. And a couple of things not surprising, the other drivers for their sustainability programs are 45% believe that uh, increase, it'll increase access to capital and satisfy customer buying pref preferences and also gain a competitive advantage. So these are all really important drivers and we're here today to, uh, to learn a little bit more about some, some of these, uh, uh, some great uh, 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 companies.